Welcome back, everyone. This is JTM Plays, and we are back with another indie game. This one's called Farthest Frontier. This is a pretty, I'm not going to say chill city builder. This is a pretty hardcore city builder, to be, you know, precise. It's got, it's got the banished feel of gameplay with the bonus of combat. So you can actually control your villagers and go into combat with either the, the animals like wolves and bears and then also there are bandits and yeah it's it's actually a pretty fun game as far as city building goes so we're gonna give it a try we're gonna give it a try let's take a look let's have our first look here and we're gonna just go ahead and create a new settlement we're just going to go ahead and pick the normal settings here we're not gonna go and try and prove something with 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 hardcore here we're gonna just pick trailblazer and we're gonna choose a yeah the, the first the first idyllic valley should be fine for this right let's go ahead and start the game okay so here we are so basically when the game starts off you're you're given the option to choose where your town center will be and for this you have to be very strategic and choose the right spot you don't want to build near bandits you don't want to be build near what's it called be near dangerous animals that can kill your civilization like right here there's there's wild boars in the area that will attack your villagers and if you get caught by any of those wild boars and you don't have anyone nearby it's pretty much going to be bye bye for that villager and yeah they you can lose you can lose population really quickly like that so right here there are a couple of boars here that we might be able to take out there's also some wolves here that i am afraid of so let's not build that close actually there's a, there's so many boars everywhere i think i'm going to build on this side over here there's a couple of boars and stuff not that much but this might be the better location. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this right here. Yep, confirming. The boards are gonna probably attack right away. So we, we better be ready to sort of take them out. Let's see if we can do that right now. So we'll select all of our villagers here and we're, I'm gonna send them over to just kind of take care of the situation here. Hopefully that boar is taken care of pretty quickly here. There's, there's some more here. Hey, all right. It's running away, but we might be able to get it. It's pretty strong. We probably didn't need the entire population there, but it's fine, right? Oh, we lost a person. That's not good. Now let's make sure that we can see everybody's health. If we press F3, you can see everybody's health. So Mir is wounded. I don't think that we can save her. Let's make, let's just go back to what we were doing over here. And yeah, let's clear out the zones i'm surprised that the entire pack of villagers here couldn't take on the the boar and we lost one person so that's going to be that's going to be pretty dangerous let's go ahead and harvest we're going to harvest only trees and stones we want to keep our bushes and berries for other other needs we're going to harvest the immediate surrounding like this i'm not seeing that much stone except for the ones down here which is probably going to be super dangerous with the boars hanging out so this should be fine for now right yeah okay let's go ahead and hit play speed up time a little bit and we should start thinking about our city layout let's go this way let's go let's go build a road kind of out this way into the forest Let's also go around here. Let's go around the the town center. Let's just build a road that goes around like so. And we should be okay. Oh, it sucks that we lost a villager right off the start here to a boar. Maybe I was a little bit too aggressive. Anyways, we're going to have to build a cemetery pretty quickly, which is going to suck. But the first thing that we should do is definitely build that town hall so that we can start building houses and start getting our villagers pretty much ready to endure the winter okay let's continue building the layout here of our town i'm just going to build roads going out of our town here it's going to be a little bit of a city sort of grid layout but i think they're that's pretty much the most efficient way of building yeah that's pretty much the most efficient way of building in in the start we can go we can get a little bit more flexible later on but for now this is what we want to do and with this game what happens is that you don't want to build 
your industry near where people are living. So we want to find a spot where where we can see or there's desirability for people to live in. So if we click on homes and we select where do we want to build, this yellow zone means the desirability is pretty pretty normal per se. Let's go ahead and build some houses. We're going to need a handful of houses here like so to get started. Yep. Something like this should be fine. So we want to keep houses on one side the entire time. After we build houses, we need to build storage. So I'm going to build a stockyard, probably pretty close to where our industry is going to be right over here. We're going to build food production. We're going to get hunting cabin. Uh, where are my deer? No, there's no deer around here. Are we going to have to hunt boars? We're looking for deers. More people await word to join your settlements. Okay, yeah. Four months supply of food, which we do have. And a six houses. Okay. So that's that. All right. And then we also have to get the graveyard going. Let's pause here for a second. And of course, we're getting attacked by bears. So is that boar attacking us right now? Doesn't seem like it. It's pretty close, but it's not doing the thing. All right. So I'm going to put down my hunting cabin right over here. Also, I'm going to put down a fishing shack right over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put down a forager right over here. I want my industry to be together pretty much. And then I'm going to get a smokehouse right over here. And that is pretty much everything. The next thing that we want to do is farms, but we're not, we're not going to go there yet. Let's see. So housing amenities services. We want to build a cemetery. So let's build our cemetery right over here. It's a little expensive, but we need to have it. We need to get rid of this body here before it starts getting people sick because our villagers will get sick if there are dead bodies laying around. So let's go ahead and do all of this. Also, we need to get to resources and we need to build a firewood splitter pretty much ASAP because if we don't have firewood, we're going to run into issues in this first winter here. So this is a priority build. This is also a priority build. And we just have to kind of do the thing. Also, can't forget, we need a well. Where Where's the well? It's got to be here, resources, right? Yeah, let's build a well in this area, general area right over here next to our housing. That might be the best spot for it. Good. And then the marketplace is not available yet, but it's one of the most important buildings that we need to have. And we need to build a storehouse before we can build a marketplace place so this storehouse here comes after we build a stockyard and the stockyard is being built here and it is also not a priority but it will be right now okay so as long as we have the population to continue doing all of this also let's prioritize our water here this is number one priority because our people we don't want our people to start dying of de dehydration it does happen in this game by the way okay so Let's make sure that we are gathering wood. We need all the wood that we can get here. Yeah, our gatherer is still not built. Here's our pretty much our storage here. We got weapons, got tools. We got arrows and bows. Select to, hmm, I can move this guy. Where would I want to move him to? Yes, let's accept seven villagers, seven new people. Good, okay, perfect. So now that we have enough population here, I think we're going to be okay. A bustling market would help generate. Yes, I do want to have the market as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and grab that. It's going to be in not food production, but resources, right? Actually, no, that's not there. The market requires the saw pit, which I need to place all the way over here somewhere where it doesn't affect my desirability. So there you go. There's the market. Uh, sorry, that wasn't the market. This is the market over here. We're looking for this market here. But we need what? We need we need this. We need the storehouse, right? Yeah, that's what we need. Storehouse. I'll put it right over here. And it just requires some wood, which we should have plenty of, right? How much wood do we have? Yes, yes. I know that we need a graveyard. It's coming. It's coming as soon as we have the stone. Let's get that stone, please. Uh, we need to find another source of stone. Also, we have a blizzard coming. Oh, that means our people won't be able to work. Do we have enough firewood for this? Oh, man. Okay, all right. We need we need the stone. We need the stone. 
Everyone's gonna go and hide now. Oh, okay. All right, hopefully we can survive this. We don't, we don't have water yet because we don't have stone. So we could probably make it through this winter here, right? I hope so. I really do hope so that we can do it. Uh, what do we have over here? We have some doughs over here. That's, yeah, that's good. Okay, all right. Please gather the stone. Please gather the stone. Please gather the stone. Gather the stone. There you go. Uh, let's unprioritize the cemetery, please. I can't believe we're so stone starved here. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. All right, someone build, please. Someone build. Everyone needs water. There you go. Okay, all right, all right. We got 46 buckets of water. Deliver to the houses, please. Now we should also probably start, put this root cellar down here. Now let's also now get the market. The market can be built and it's gonna be built right over in this area here to affect all of the housing. This might be the best spot right here. There, yeah, we'll put that down right there. Okay, I think we're good now. I think we're good. We have plenty of population there. Now let's continue building our roads. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Did the boars run away? Did we take care of them? There are two more boars here. These lightning storms are pretty relentless. Let's, yes, let's work on, I'm looking for, this guy should be hunting the boars, right? Where are the boars? Doesn't look like there are any more boars there. Let's go hunt over here. There are some deer on this area here. Our gatherer, the forager. Yeah, you should be working over here since we have a bunch of whatever this is, greens over here in this area. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's continue building our roads going this way. This guy can go this way as well. Let's do a road over here going this way. And then down this way. All right. Okay, there's not that much as far as stone goes. I need, I really need stone. I mean, there's some over here, some there that we need to mine. Uh, we're, we're doing pretty good on wood and we got a bunch of wood planks too. Marketplace just needs a couple more wood planks and more stone. Anything else that we can build here? Uh, let's see, not housing. Although we probably need some more houses here pretty soon. Let's place a couple. That should be enough. Let's get some more, let's get some more. So we don't need any more storage, food production. We could start working on farming. Best place to farm. Let's get a little farm going right here. Let's do two farms going right here. Something like that. Although they, it does, farming does take up a lot of workers. Yeah, look, they all, they all just kind of flock to do that. I need them to gather all of this, all this rock here. Farming is one of the most complicated things in this game. There is crop rotation as well as management of fertility and all of that stuff. So it gets, it gets a little, it gets a little crazy. There's a lot, a lot more to do there than banished. But I think that we're almost at a point where we are, we almost, we're almost ready with the marketplace here. Yeah, we're almost doing, we're almost set there. And the boar situation has kind of disappeared. So I'm happy about that. I do need to set my forager to move to a different area now. Let's see. There's some nuts there. There's some more stuff over here. There's some mushrooms there. What about over here? Yeah, let's go over here. Let's go to this area. Ooh, there's some berries over here too. Actually, it's spring, it's summertime, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's get our forager to work this area right here. There's so many, so many berries over here. Yeah, let's do that right there. Okay, it might even be worth getting another, another forager. I guess, I mean, yeah, why not, right? Why, why, why is it, why are we restricted to only one forger when we could have two? Let's go ahead and build that. Are we good on wood here? We're not, we're not storing wood. We should be storing raw materials here. Yep, we're still missing stone. Yeah, actually quite a lot of stone. 14 here, seven there, one here. Are you not prioritized? Come on, let's get that market going. Let's get, also get this graveyard built. It's just one more, one more stone uh labor shortage yes i do know that let's go and uh, let's go manage our labor shortage if we can workers cannot be assigned while an auto refill okay let's turn that off uh, how are we doing for firewood we've got a pretty good amount of firewood let's turn that off we will keep a sar let's uh, hmm, let's remove one farmer and then that should give us a good amount right of laborers and whatnot Okay, here's our first farm. Nice. Now, this is a lot to read here, but I'll pretty much go over the situation here. Let's close this here. Let's go back here. Now, as you can see, we've got weed level 
is pretty high here and rockiness level is pretty high so what we what we need to do is we need to get farmers to work the land here uh, pretty much yeah i'm gonna set that up so that farmers can work the land here let's close remove this as well also in the second year we're going to start off with that and then probably a little bit more and then we can finally start planting and we'll do some more planting of beans and some more planting of turnips and that should be good enough right okay good and then the following year we're going to work on crop yeah we're going to do that that should be good there fail to begin planting yes that's fine okay cool so that's what about this one here also same thing so i'm wondering if i could copy could i copy settings here uh, add sand soil mixture okay we got to deal with soil mixture too here let's add some sand so we can get up to there something like that okay current mode maintenance yeah let's do let's do the same thing here let's do maintenance maintenance in the next year as well and then we'll get to planting we'll get to planting stuff there okay all right and then we have villagers being born which is good we have our cemetery now too which we can now place our deceased villager there i hope i hope she's taken promptly what's going on here you need carcasses okay all right and then over here we don't have a worker so we need to assign a firewood splitter here okay there you go right i did i did turn that off right because we had a lot but anyway we do need we do need a, a quite a good amount of firewood here to survive this winter we're doing pretty good on pretty much everything here the main thing we need to do is oh we're about to get some food spoilage right are we going to get some food spoilage no no we should be fine yeah we're, we should be okay there okay all right new year new year new me what's the uh, what's the ultimate goal here now i think we can get more buildings built right defenses no we're not going to deal with that right now decorations and all that all good all good we got all the storages as well Housing and amenities. I think that we need a shrine somewhere. Let's put it over. Let's put it over here in this corner. Or let, we can get it over here next to our houses. Yeah, maybe this is the best spot here. Let's put it right there. Work areas are empty and may need to be moved. Okay. All right. That's probably for our foragers, right? That's probably for our foragers. Let's toggle. Let's see. Where do we want to farm? Okay, there's a boar over here, but I'm looking for probably, I'm looking for those, right? I'm looking for up here, maybe? Okay, let's go there. And then our foragers, this is one of our foragers. Let's go over here. You go there, and then this one, hunter, forager. Let's go over here. There you go. And yes, except eight people. I'll take those. All right, definitely go do your things. Let's see. Auto fill professions that now gives us everything that we need we got 15 laborers zero builders now let's assign up to four builders there now what i want to do is i want to saw more more planks definitely going to need a lot of planks to progress here if we don't do that then we're going to be just kind of stuck so what i want to do well look at that we're doing pretty good on raw materials here what i want to do is get resources okay here we go i need a cobbler shop Let's place our cobbler shop right over here. Oh, my bad, I meant to rotate and I pressed R. So let's get the cobbler shop right. Actually, we can get the cobbler shop over here next to our residences. It doesn't bother them. Yeah, let's do that right there. The cobbler shop, by the way, is it makes it makes jackets. Actually, that's the tannery. Okay, let's get a let's get a tannery as well. Our residents don't like the tannery. So we're gonna put our tannery out here, like so. Okay, what's next? What about a Fletcher building. Let's put a Fletcher building over here. Let's get another building, which is the basket shop. Let's get a basket shop right there. Yeah. All right. And that's going to cost us a couple of resources there. Most, most specifically, it's planks. I'd like to add another worker for planks. Actually, you're pretty good at four. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it at four for now. How's our crop doing? It's doing pretty good. Okay, and our second one, our weed levels is down. Fertility is up. We are working the fields. Perfect. I probably need another farmer now that we have the population for it, right? Where is the farmer? Let's do... Nope, let's do this. Oh, max workers is five. So hold on a second. Population. Resources. 
Farmer, six out of six. Okay, so we could get, but we could get five if we wanted to, right? We can add two more workers here. Kind of speed up the process. Yeah. Okay. Farm's looking good. I think we need to go ahead and work the farm a little bit more, right? Instead of doing this, we could remove this assignment, do that, do some more work. Same thing here. Get the rockiness level and the weed level down as much as possible. Okay. That looks good. Our hunter is still hunting. Are you good? Are you okay? Monthly guild report recurring taxes from the market is nine. This guy's missing. Okay, this guy's missing some gold and then some stone. The market generates gold as well. We're going to need more houses. That's for sure. Let's place down a couple houses. And we'll do one, two, three, and four. Then a couple of these up here. One, two, and three, and four. Okay. Quite a lot of houses, but absolutely needed. Oh, man. Yep, we're going to need some more stone, which is over here, over here. Harvest, harvest, harvest. I mean, I think that we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty solid here. In order to upgrade our housing, what do we need? Desirability, right? Yeah, desirability. Here is our desirability. That needs to be level two. We need, we need the town center to be level two. We need the location desirability. We need food types and all that and then that's the upgrade cost there i mean not that not that difficult i think for desirability we could get a couple things right we can get decorations i feel a birch tree is that does that help oh that costs that costs gold it costs gold let's not do that then we can get some parks i think yeah that's what we could do we can get some parks something like this will increase desirability yeah. Okay. How much gold is that going to cost again? That's going to cost us 30 gold, which is doable. Also, we can upgrade our town hall now. Finally, let's go ahead and do that upgrade. It requires 60 planks and 30 stone. Yeah, we should be, we should be fine. Let's get our, let's get our foragers to, to different areas like so. Where's our second forager? It's a smokehouse. This is our forager. Let's grab, let's grab this area over here. Yeah, go for that. Go for that. And then here's our fisherman. Let's see. We can fish all this area here. What about our hunter? What's our hunter up to? What is our hunter up to? There's no more animals to hunt in these areas. No more animals to hunt. There's some deers up here. Yeah, that looks like the only spot that he can go. Oh, predators are attacking. Where at? Ooh. Oh, wolves. Okay. All right. That's not good. That's not good. Let's grab a couple villagers here. Come and come and help. Come on. Come this way. Come this way, Jarek. Don't die. Run. Run, Jarek. Run for your life, Jarek. They're coming to save you. Nice. Okay. All right. He survived. I hope there's not a wolf den somewhere around here. There probably is. Okay. Let's uh let's speed up. Let's speed up time here. We've got no time to waste. We've got no time to waste here. It's almost winter time and we haven't been able to farm at all there's a little bit of weed there's no almost no weed actually so i think we could start doing the things here actually i'm gonna remove this guy put this one down let's 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 work it a little bit more and then we could get get probably cotton there and we can clear this guy and let's do let's do some carrots there i think that works Cool, cool. Okay. Not enough room to add crops. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Are you saying that this is full? It's at capacity? No, it can store up to 1,500 items. Hmm. Desirability is still down here. How do we get more desirability? All right. Looks like we're going to need other things like a small plaza. Probably not. That, that didn't add much. Small plazas can be placed under roads so something like this oh man that's eating up that's that's it's gonna eat up a lot of stuff okay we're getting attacked again by what another wolf which 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 we're good yeah we're good we're good what's wrong with you ailments dysentery oh man no clean water what do you mean there's no clean water are we out of water where's our well where is our well amenities oh we can do tier two buildings now so that's good all right, before that, let's see, let's resources. We need a well. We need a well and we need to place it where? Water bonus. 
we need a well and we need to place it. All right, we have a well here already. Well, we need a well in this general area over here. Or is it that you're out of you're out of water? No, there's plenty of water here. All right. Yeah, this person is sick here. Nope, don't want to delete. Let's take a look at what new buildings we can we can now build. So a wagon shop, a workshop where transport wagons are manufactured. Wagons can be used by villagers. Okay, let's yeah, wagons are good. Wagons are good. Let's build let's build some wagons. A wagon shop. Wagon shop doesn't affect my population's whatever desirability. Wagon shop. Let's get a granary above ground structure for the storage of wheat and other grains. Okay, we don't need that right now. And a vault to store the gold. All right, we don't need any of that. Not right now, at least. Amenities and services. Okay, a healer's house. Yes, absolutely needed. Absolutely. Let's put that down somewhere. Right over here. Yes, our population is going to love it. How about that? That's that's good. That's good. Okay. All right. What's next? A trading post. Building where goods are stocked and stored and trade with the visiting merchants. I mean, that might be good. That might be super useful. But we definitely want a school. Let's get a school going. Let's put the school over here. Good. Okay, let's get a festival pole. Okay, maybe that's not that's not really needed. Let's not get a temple. Not right now. Okay, that those few things that I got are definitely enough. Let's go take a look at storage now. Actually, we went through storage, right? We want to take a look at windmill. A windmill powered where millers can grind wheat into flour to be used in baking. Okay, and also the bakery. So we could get this bakery somewhere out here right this is a good spot let's go ahead and put that let's go ahead and put that there our farms are over here let's get the bakery now next to next to that and then let's get this road just coming out this way road right yes a road going this way like that and we should be able to build all of this we need a bunch of flax for that and we don't have it we need heavy tools the urbanist is a building that employs an arborist the arborist will work at this building and maintain harvest fruit trees nearby okay all right well this guy is pretty useful we don't have any fruit trees anywhere but let's put you up here for now what's next i think that's all right let's go look at resources the apiary the apiary keeps beehives which villages can harvest for honey farmers are required to service this building okay all right we could get a apiary probably right over here We'll service our farms. Actually, let's put it over here. Right there. It's good. But let's get a potter building, a weaver building, a candle shop. I need a tool shop. That's what I need. And an armory. Armory is good, I think. I think the armory is good. And then we also need a compost yard. This is something that we need ASAP. Let's put that all the way over here in the corner. And let's get a road to it like this. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. Anything else? I mean, I do want to get the armory, but I feel like we need everything else here. We need to get to mining iron or something. We're not there yet. Also defenses. We can now start making, we can make a barracks. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's convenient. Let's make a barracks. Let's put it not there. Let's put it over here. Let's put it down here. There we go. What else do we need? Barracks, cavalry stable. We don't need. And then a palisade wall we could build build a wall like this Ooh, nice okay all right all right i'm excited i'm excited it's time it's almost time for the the war and the battle to begin i think i'm gonna call this episode here because we are doing pretty good it's you know the game started off difficult but it 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 isn't if you know what you're doing like we are here let's assign you to come gather over here where's my other Where's my other forager? I need you to come and forage this area over here. Actually, this area over here would have been better. Let's let's select, let's sort of change your assignment to here. Cool. And you, oh, I changed my hunter's cabin. That's what I did. All right, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, let's, so let's send you back to where you were hunting deer in this area over here. Yeah, there you go. It's my forager that I need to reassign from up there to down here. And we're good. 
Okay. All right. So this is a good spot to end the episode here. We're doing pretty good. Our population is 38. We can, we can have up to 72 population. Are we able to upgrade a house yet? We're not because our desirability is still pretty low. I feel like you need, okay. We need more food types. That's what it is. And then we are still not farming. Okay. Yeah. We are beginning to farm now. All right. Nice. All right. We're beginning to farm. Yes. What about this guy right here? Farming carrots, 228 harvested, 187. We're doing that. We're doing, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Weed level and rockiness. Okay. We'll allow, yeah, we'll allow some more work on the farm. But after that, I think we need to get started with planting lots of vegetables here with rotation and all that it's good stuff. Let's get, let's get some wheat or something, something short, right? Yeah, that, that works. Okay, and hay. Yep, we don't need hay. We don't need any of that. Anyways, this is a good spot to end the episode. Let me know what you guys think. I, I'm having fun with the game. I'm having fun. I'm excited maybe maybe about doing another episode because we still didn't get into the combat. But with a little bit more playtime, I think we can get there. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and drop me a comment. Let me know if, if you are interested in watching another episode or another video on farthest frontier so check you guys next time have a good one bye bye